Oh, hey, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Marissa McKell and welcome to my channel. Oh, boy, you like, you like, you like what you see. Won't you come over and check up on it? I'm gonna let you work up on it. Ladies, let them check up on it. How'd you want to check up on it? Today's video is tailored to my BBL baddies, my ladies that are looking to get the perfect peach and willing to go under the knife to get it. I, too, am a BBL baddie. I went under the knife. And I just wanted to highlight my experience with you guys. Um, if you have booked your surgery and you need to know what products, tips, tricks, things like that to get you through this process, that is what I am here for today. So I want to highlight just my BBL supplies. So what I purchased for my um, pre-surgery, during surgery, and after surgery during the healing process. Um, what I used and what helped me get by because no matter how much we have normalized this kind of surgery, um, it still comes at a high risk and it is very, very, very important that um, you make sure that you are doing everything before and after to ensure that you have a very healthy recovery and for the best results ultimately. When I began shopping for my surgery, I wanted to make sure that I was being very cost effective. My doctor had sent me a list of supplies that I needed and I was on YouTube, I was in Facebook groups, all types of things like trying to find information on what I should buy, what is necessary because the list was very long. It was very, it was very long. I will add it to the video, but it was very long. And I'm just like, okay, is all of this necessary? So when I started watching videos, they're like, well, I didn't use this, I didn't use that. And then, and then like I use this for that and this for that. So I just kind of made my own list and I just want to share with you guys what was um, necessary for me. Okay, so let's hop right into supplements. So when I booked my surgery, I booked in August and my date was set for the following year in June. So that gave me 10 months to prepare. Um, he sent me, my surgeon had sent me a welcome packet and I have it, everything right here on my laptop. I just wanna make sure that I have all of the information for you guys. My doctor recommended that I take iron, vitamin C and folic acid because 30 days prior to surgery I had to be tested on my iron levels, hemoglobin levels, um, my heart rate, things like that, to make sure that I am a healthy candidate for the surgery so that I don't have anything to worry about, any last minute discrepancies or anything like that. So I probably booked and then like a month later, I started taking my supplements. So I started taking Hemoplex, which is a iron pill. It promotes healthy red blood cells. I took Fiasol, Ferrosulfate. And then I also took Floridex, which was a liquid iron. All of these items I purchased from Amazon. It will be linked below. And then for the folic acid, I went ahead with this one. And I took vitamin C gummies. I will put those on the screen as well. And then uh, I was already taking hair, skin, and nail vitamins. So I continue to take those. 10 out of 10 recommend. I still take them. When it was time for me to get tested, um, to be approved for surgery, all of my stuff came back A1. I didn't have no problems. For females, your levels had to be between 12 and 16. I think my levels were like a 13.5 or something like that. Iron pills, I had to take three times a day, 325 milligrams. Um, the vitamin C, I had to take three times a day, 250 milligrams. And then the folic acid, one milligram per day. So... I wanted to make sure that I kept up with these things. So I went and purchased one of these like medicine organizers um, from Amazon. It was like three bucks. It'll also be linked below. But I just like at the beginning of the week, I would just fill it up. And um, obviously like my vitamin C gummies and the liquid iron I just, you know, had on the side. But I just left this on my counter and made sure that I took it um, when I needed to take it. And this was very, very helpful life hack okay so those are all of the supplements that i took to get approved for the surgery now like i said i booked in august my uh, surgery date was in june so i started taking mine that's what nine months before my surgery passed with flying colors no problems you don't want to have problems 30 days before surgery because that's crunch time you might have another week or two left to get another test done hopefully your levels are where they need to be but 
you're not getting surgery or you're gonna have to reschedule and my doctor was booked and busy okay so if i didn't pass my test then there's no telling when my next like when they would have set another date for me to get surgery so get started early along with taking the vitamins my doctor made it um extremely well known that i needed to be hydrated i mean but like it's also kind of like common sense drink your water stay hydrated sis more than anything hydration so i went ahead and i purchased a big gallon from amazon and i made sure that i drank my water at one point i was trying to drink a gallon a day it worked wonders but it's not necessary but it definitely worked when my skin was clear my skin was so clear um i felt very extremely hydrated you want to drink as much water as possible okay Okay, so those were the supplements that I used in order to get approved for the surgery. Um, now, I do want to just go down the list that my doctor had given me because most of the lists that you're going to get from your doctors are fairly similar. Um, it's going to be right here on the screen. This is the list that I got. Um, and I'm just going to let you know what I bought, what I didn't buy, and things like that. So we're just going to go right down the list. Baby wipes need those i purchased extra large baby wipes they will be on the screen um because when you use the bathroom when you have any bowel movement like you're gonna have to floss <laughs> your butt like it sounds silly but you have to floss your butt because your butt is gonna be so stiff right after surgery like you're not gonna want to like you, you know how you like wipe your ass like no no extra large baby wipes definitely need those dry shampoo i don't know i'm black and i have braids for my surgery so that didn't do me any justice um feminine wipes same as baby wipes i guess if you use that kind of thing i'm not really into feminine wipes um antibacterial body soap very important um i went and i purchased hiba cleanse so my doctor told me that when i come for pre-op it would give me a like a little kit and it would include my HIPAA cleanse and a few other things. Um, but then, like I told you, I was doing a ton of research before my surgery. And I saw that some girls weren't getting their packets or kits or whatever. So I'm like, let me go ahead and just buy my own. So I bought me some HIPAA cleanse. This is um, antiseptic body wash. They use this for all major surgeries just to prevent the risk or it reduces the risk of cross infection during surgery because you know dealing with open wounds and things like that you just definitely 10 out of 10 recommend um and then for i used the hiba cleanse um two days before surgery and i believe i used it like the day or two after um just to clean you know just to make sure that my wounds weren't going to be um infected or anything like that and then for the days after while my incisions were still a little you know healing i went and bought dial soap this is an antibacterial bar soap definitely recommend yes so um scent free lotion um we did buy scent free lotion i went ahead and i purchased the bio oil bio oil is helps improve the appearance of new and old scars improves the appearance of stretch marks uneven skin tone um, helps smooth and tone the appearance of aging skin etc etc lots of um, benefits here definitely recommend bio oil you can get it on amazon i found it at walmart target you can get it this is a good pickup it is a little pricey um, but 10 out of 10 recommend especially for this surgery i used that i probably did use like a lotion but if you do get a lotion please make sure that it's scent free lotion um because that can irritate your incision sites and things like that but bio oil girl go get you some moving right on down the list we got tylenol extra strength and tylenol pm now i went and picked up the tylenol and tylenol pm so let me give you a little backstory on this. So um, your doctor is going to prescribe you like Oxy or any of like the pain related um, supplements. And that was fine for me. Like I took the Oxy and I was straight. Like I don't remember how many 
oxys they gave me but it was enough to where by the time i like got home and i ran out of oxy i didn't need it anymore so um i didn't end up using these at all so um I, like i said everyone's different their pain tolerance is different um you might run out of oxy and you may need this but these are still full i did not use these me and my i went with my sister we did not use these so at your own risk i did not need them i had arnica gel and i had arnica tea and I didn't end up drinking the tea for real. I still have so much tea left. So my most aggressive lipo was on my stomach area and the Arnica gel. I also had arm lipo. So my arms and my, um, my stomach area were so bruised. The Arnica helps with the bruising and the pain. And when I tell you, as soon as I rub those things, I would mix my Arnica gel with my bio oil and re instant relief. Promise you 10 out of 10 recommend. Definitely get the gel. It is very sticky. I that's why I was mixing it with the bio oil when I was like, you know, I would get out the shower and lather up in that. And um, the Arnica tea I purchased, I didn't really use it. I still have so much. Um, I got most of my benefits from the Arnica gel. So it's an option. Um, I just didn't use it. Um, a mild laxative and stool softener. Um, after surgery, you're not going to be able to have a bowel movement for quite some time. Um, I don't think that I had one until like a week after surgery. That is so crazy to me. But um, I did end up taking a stool softener with I don't even remember like maybe like five or six days after surgery so that I could have a bowel movement and that did help so I do recommend a mild laxative or stool softener um compression socks you need these um I purchased these from Amazon you can get them from any retailer honestly like Walmart Meyer, Target um, but I purchased them on Amazon. I found them cheap. Um, I got like a pack of six. I will link that below. Um, but your doctor recommends those. Um, a female urinal. Guys, <laughs> this is going to be so silly. But a female urinal, I will put it right here, definitely necessary. Now, you have two choices. Well, I, I don't know if there's more choices, but these are the two that come to mind. So you can either get the silicone one where you just like put it like on <laughs> your vagina and you pee through it because you can't sit on the toilet. After surgery, you cannot sit on the toilet, sis. Now, I know some ladies who sit backwards on the toilet. I was not doing that. I am such a germaphobe. I would not sit on the back of a toilet. Like, I'm just not doing it and getting comfortable. Like, no, not doing it. So I went and purchased a female urinal. Now, I went with the disposable ones. Um, so they were like a cardboard. They were pretty thick. I would probably use it like twice. Like I would use it and then like set it on the toilet, use it again, because then it would get soggy. <laughs> it would get soggy. So then I would like toss it. But um, there's also a silicone one and you can use it, rinse it out, just put it on the toilet. Um, both of those options are great, but I use the cardboard one because I thought, you know, disposing of it would be cool. I mean, would be like mess free and easy. Um, so that's what I did. And um, my sister had the uh, the silicone one. So, um, <laughs> yeah, both of them are great. 10 out of 10 recommend getting one of them. But with the cardboard ones, I got a, uh, a pack of like, I think it was 50 or 100 more than enough I recommend the female urinal rather than sitting on the back of the toilet backward like get the urinal sis <laughs> gauze pads um we had bought some didn't use them they stick to your incisions I always stay your clear medical tape you don't want to put any tape on your body I don't know why they suggested that but I'm good on the gauze pads and the medical tape rope not sure why that's on there Okay, so robe. I purchased my robe from Amazon and 
this is like this was such a safety net for me like <sighs> the perfect robe for your surgery is honestly like very very important because this is probably what i wore more than anything during my healing process like my robe was everything for me so when you go and get your robe please make sure that it is long not tight on your body like what size is this i ordered this is a large like i usually typically wear like a medium in my clothes but like this was such a safety net for me and it still is like a nostalgic love this um very plush very soft and i got black um black is like your best friend everything you buy i would just do black okay i'm wanting it into it that's why we bought black um compression socks we don't want to see blood sis you don't have to be a bloody wreck after surgery like be that girl you can't be that girl walking around with blood stains in your outfit okay black black you'll thank me later for those ladies who wanted to wear cream and beige and things like that black baby black because your girl wasn't walking around in that in blood stains and things like that black is your friend loose fitting dresses i'm not gonna hold you up after surgery the only time that i actually put clothes on was if i had um like my post-op appointments i put on a, fit, a dress to the airport i wore a dress if we left the hotel i put on a loose fitted dress um and these are some of the dresses that i had i just bought them on honeybum like they were honeybum was having like a um, like a sale on their maxi dresses or whatever. I just bought cheap little maxi dresses. This one was a like bandu top maxi dress. Like very comfortable, very stretchy. I ordered um, a size up. I got a large because I didn't want it to be tight in any way. Um, I also bought this one. It's a little, it was a little shorter. But the material, very lightweight, like this was everything for me, like super lightweight, loved it, very affordable. Um, I also had like a, a, a tan one and another black one, but yeah, just you don't have to buy anything super expensive. I think I probably paid like $6 for each of those dresses on Honeybum. Now you can get those dresses from Walmart, you can get them anywhere don't spend a lot of money on your garments or whatever you decide to wear after surgery because it's not necessary promise um smooth tank tops you want to buy compression tanks and i'm going to link i'm going to put them up right here um with the amazon tank tops that you want to buy um you can get them from target walmart like i said most of these things you can find at walmart and target too i just did all of my shopping on amazon but i'm going to link it below you want compression tank tops and i'm gonna tell you why during your surgery you have to wear your abs foam i mean your um your foams and your boards with a binder and also your faja like you're wearing all of that under your faja now your skin you want it to heal correctly after the liposuction so with all of that stuff under your faja your skin can end up being like wrinkly in there. And eventually like your skin, like that's where you see the girls that have like the wrinkly skin and the dark spots on their like permanent dark marks and bruises like on their stomach areas after surgery. We're not doing that. We want crystal clean skin, like beach ready skin after surgery. So get those compression tank tops because they're going to flatten everything out skin wise and then you put all of your stuff on. So these are the tank tops for you, baby. Okay, so poise pads. I did go ahead and purchase poise pads. You don't have to get that specific brand. Um, you can get, what do they have? Always and um, I don't know, any, any pad <laughs> that you usually use for your menstrual cycle. I purchased the poise pads. Now the purpose of the poise pads is to catch um, any of the extra lymphatic drainage after your surgery. So my surgeon left me with um, incisions, two at the top of my back, two at the bottom, um, one on the top of like my butt crack, and then two below my butt. And then I have 
two right here, and I have two right here. So I only put poise pads at, on these two at the bottom because when I was getting my surgery or when I was getting my um, when I was getting my massages, they were massaging the lymphatic fluid down this way out of these incisions. So after I would just put the poise pads right into my um, like right here in my faja so that it could catch the excess um fluid but that was when i was draining like profusely like after sur like directly after surgery so i only use them like the what two three days after surgery and then i just like let everything drain without using those and i was you know letting the the puppy training pads on the bed i was letting those catch all of the drainage and things like that so I definitely do recommend the poise pads. They were helpful for the few days after surgery. Slide on shoes. These are the shoes that I bought. Don't overdo it with the shoes. Make sure they're silicone. Do not get anything cloth. Make sure they're black, period. Like they weren't the most comfortable, but I wore them everywhere I went. Easy to slide on, especially after surgery. They just put them on your feet. You want slide in shoes, no straps. Slide in shoes, no straps. Say it with me. Slide in shoes, no straps. Slide in shoes, no straps. Because well, they were they were really cheap shoes. I got them from Walmart. They were like six dollars, something like that. Six is my magical number today, but I promise you they were under ten dollars. Um, but yes, black. Extra towels and sheets. Now, when it came to us dressing that room, and I, I am going to make a video on like, I'm just going down my supplies list with you all. But um, when it comes to the dressing of the room, nine times out of 10, if you're not in a recovery home and you decided to go with a extended stay, Airbnb, something like that, you do not wanna be charged for that room. You are going to have bodily fluids leaking out of your body for, I had to, you have to stay in Miami for five days at least. Now, during those five days, you're going to be a leaky, nasty mess. And if you damage any of their bed sheets, their floors, anything like that, you're paying for that. And the last thing you want to do after paying all that money for surgery is pay for some funky room. Like, you don't want to do it. So me, so we went ahead and dressed our whole room. So we we did not do a um a recovery home. We got an extended stay. And um the day before we went to Walmart and we bought our own like black comforter. The black comforter was probably like $15, got it from Walmart. Um we purchased our own, we just bought a pillow. We bought one pillow because we wanted to use our own pillow. We didn't even buy a pillowcase, just a pillow. Um, we bought shower curtains. The shower curtains go over the bed. We took all of their sheets off of the bed, like, and we put two shower curtains over the bed. I can't wait till I drop that. Um, can't wait to drop our actual video, like our surgery experience video, because we filmed the whole thing. Um, so when that drops, like you guys will be able to see, but shower curtains, dress that bed, um, buy your own little comforter, dress that bed, my own pillow. Dress that bed. And we also went and bought dog potty pads, like the, the training potty pads, buy those hundred percent necessary. You do not want to mess up that bed. Okay. Um, you just don't want to mess it up. So we put two shower curtains. I guess if you, that was just the cheap way. We went to the dollar store and got dollar shower curtains and dressed the bed. Now you can go and buy a mattress cover, very helpful, but it's probably going to run you more than a dollar for a shower curtain. So shower curtains, two of them on the bed. We put the potty pads on top of the bed or on top of the, um, on top of the shower curtains. And then we put a comforter on the bed and then we had our own pillow dress that room okay we're not paying extra fees now when it came to um 
buying our food and things like that we meal prepped our meals the day before i think i'm going to do that more of like in the um i'm going to address that in the surgery experience video like what we cooked and things like that um but we shopped the day before and we got um salmon we got stuff for breakfast lunches and dinner so the first couple of days we weren't really able to eat we had soup um like chicken noodle soup and then we bought we pre-made um like the day before surgery we made salmon what do we have salmon and rice we had some rotisserie chicken things like that just healthy clean eating we went and purchased that the day before surgery just to meal prep the day before so we didn't have to cook while we were like you know whatever so this is very important foams boards and binder i'm not going to um mention who my doctor was but i did go to 305 plastic surgery and they sent me a list of like their pricing for different things that you can purchase through them when i tell you that i got my um my my boards, pads, and my binder on Amazon for like half that price. The link is below. Use it because <laughs> there's no reason to be spending a million dollars on the surgery. You can cut cost. It is expensive. We spent some money, but you can cut costs if you purchase correctly and you do your research. So... Nine times out of 10, you don't wanna buy from your surgery place. You wanna look elsewhere. And Amazon was my best friend. Gonna save you a ton of money there. When it comes to the Faha, I purchased my Faha from, like my first one, I purchased from 305 from my doctor. It was $150. And I did that because I didn't know what size I would be after surgery. So you watch a lot of videos and let you know that you're going to be extremely swollen after surgery. So you don't really know what size your faja is going to be. So I left it up to the professionals to fit me for my faja because you go to sleep naked and you wake up in your faja. So I left it up to them. I just purchased my first faja from them. When I woke up from surgery, my faja was a double XL. Yeah. So um, I bought that. And then the day after surgery, I went and purchased a second Faha because, you know, you want to put your first Faha in the washer and just immediately get into the other one that is clean um, while the other one is washing. So I just wanted to make sure that I had two Fahas on deck. So I went and purchased another one and I will link that below for the first like month after surgery i just like went between those two fajas as soon as i got home i got my first faja tailored because you you know your the swelling begins to go down and you want your faja to be skin tight so that is compressing the skin or your your body because you want that form baby like you want to heal and that that shape to be there the coke bottle what yeah so the tighter the faja, the better the results, period. P maybe like a few days after I got home, I took, I had my mom take me to the tailor and have them tighten my faja. I probably had that faja tightened like two, three times, like $20 each time instead of going and buying a smaller size each time. Because my waist was going down, like my waist was getting smaller and smaller by the week. So don't spend a hundred plus dollars on another faja when you can just go to the tailor and get it. You do not want to keep buying a new faja. They're expensive. So d like, don't do it. After about, I want to say like the second month, like maybe, I want to say like eight weeks after surgery, my swelling had for the most part subsided. I went and purchased like a semi-custom faja. I'm gonna put it right here for you guys. 10 out of 10 recommend. I still wear that Faja to this day. And I am almost a year post-op. So I still wear it. I mean, it's basically a waist trainer at this point, um, but 10 out of 10 recommend this site. Um, I will link it below. 
Okay, so when I was editing the video, I realized that I left out a few key products that I purchased that weren't on my list. So when I was doing my research and watching um, YouTube videos and on Facebook pages and things like that, I came across some products and I'm like, oh, that might be really helpful. So I did go ahead and purchase them. So um, first of all, let's start with um, how I loaded up on Pedialyte and pineapple juice. Um, for after surgery, you want to be hydrated. Now, pineapple juice is really good for um, like scar tissue and healing and things like that. So you want to get 100% pineapple juice. I was using the Dole's 100% pineapple juice. That was really good. And then I was getting Pedialyte. Now there's a few different Pedialyte products. I was using like the Pedialyte Plus or something. I'll put them on the screen, but um, I, I purchased a lot of that. So I was drinking Pedialyte immediately after surgery, like just to get my electrolytes. Now you don't have to do, you do not have to get Pedialyte. There's other drinks that promote like hydration that have the extra electrolytes and things like that. But I don't know. I just thought, I saw like a lot of people drinking the Pedialyte. So I'm like, let me go ahead and give me some Pedialyte. Um, so there's that. And then, sorry, I do have my laptop here because I don't want to forget anything else for you guys. Um, Mary Ruth's lymphatic drainage drops. So those lymphatic drainage after your surgery, that is the whole purpose of the massages that you get after surgery. They want to make sure that they get all of that fluid out of your body. You do not want to end up with seratomas or fibrosis or anything like that. So they want to drain all of the fluid out. Um, now the purpose of these drops, I was, um, I was just filling up the dropper and dropping it into my, um, my Pedialyte and my pineapple juice, even my water. So I did that like three times a day, a full, um, what do you call it? A syringe, a full syringe of, um, the lymphatic drops three times a day, um, just to make sure that it's draining through my body. And that way it was draining through, um, you know, when you use the bathroom, so um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend the Mary Ruth's lymphatic drainage drops. Um, and then last but not least, the Arnica care tablets. Um, I did mention Arnica before, but I forgot I did purchase tablets too. So I had the gel and the tea that I didn't really use, but the Arnica tablets, definitely recommend those. Um, after surgery, I would take the Arnica tablets um, before my massage, because like I mentioned before, the Arnica helped with the bruising and, um, the pain. So when I would take, when I had perks, well, actually my doctor ran out of Percocets. So me and my sister were taking, um, Oxy. He prescribed us Oxy. So when I ran out of my Oxy, no, when I still had Oxy left, I would take an Oxy and an Arnica tablet, like, I don't know, 30 minutes before my massage, um, just to ease the pain of the massage. Um, so those were really helpful. I did notice the difference, you know, I liked them. So definitely recommend the Arnica tablets. Um, everything will be linked below. I am going to open up my, um, my Amazon list with you all and it'll have all of the things that I mentioned in this video um, so that you can just put them right into your cart. So um, definitely look out for that link below. I think that everything that I mentioned, extremely, extremely essential to the BBL uh, process, the healing and everything like that. So please take heed to what I have shared with you all. That is all that I have for you ladies as it relates to my BBL supplies list. I really hope that I didn't leave anything out and I hope this was extremely informational for you ladies who are looking to get that perfect peach and wanting to get into the BBL surgery need help on where to get started. So um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, send me a DM on Instagram. I'd be happy to help. Um, please look out for my BBL experience video um, and my one year update video, things like that. Those will be coming soon. Um, but I really hope that this helps you guys get your BBL supplies list. Do not be late. Do not be last minute. This is very important if you are getting a BBL surgery, okay? Please be on top of it. Until next time.